it's basically the greatest scam of the century. So let's go into a little bit more about what HDL is and LDL. You've heard HDL being good cholesterol and LDL being bad cholesterol. Well, it's not even cholesterol. What does it stand for? High density lipoproteins. Low density lipoproteins. Those are proteins. They're not even cholesterol. They're envelopes that carry cholesterol through the body. So the HDL, so-called good cholesterol, carries the old cholesterol to the liver to be recycled. Okay, now, why does our body recycle cholesterol? If it's so bad, why does it recycle? Well, the fact is it's not bad and we need cholesterol. Our bodies make 2,000 milligrams of cholesterol every single day. Near every single cell in your body it makes cholesterol. An egg would be 300 milligrams of cholesterol. The truth is that when you eat more, eat less cholesterol, your body just makes more of it because it acts um, as a band-aid to help arteries that are corroding or getting ulcers or getting damage or getting inflammation. It acts to help as a healing agent and that's why cholesterol is in the artery because it's trying to heal it as a scab. It's not the culprit, it's the middleman. Most of our brains are made from cholesterol to allow for the insulation to travel with the nerves. We have all the cell walls are made from cholesterol. Uh, most of our hormones are made from cholesterol, especially the sex ones. So we need this cholesterol desperately in order to survive. If you didn't have cholesterol, you wouldn't be able to survive. And uh, cholesterol is also needed to make vitamin D to help convert and increase the calcium into the blood so then we can take the other vitamins to transport into the uh, bone. But I've watched that video on vitamin K2 because that's very important. But Because it tells you the other half of the story with clogged arteries. Um, so we have this good cholesterol which carries old cholesterol to the liver, recycles it. That means it's good. And then the bad cholesterol carries cholesterol from the liver into the tissues. Okay, But they're really not bad. They're just trans they're envelopes to transport calcium back and forth. Out of the LDL, only a very small part of the LDL is really, really bad, and it's the very small little particles. Because in LDL, there's a lot of different, there's different sizes. You have these big fluff balls, and you got these tiny little pebbles of LDL. And the real small ones are the ones that form um, the placking around and, and inside the t in, inside the artery itself, uh, and that's why people are against them. But the purpose is the body is just trying to heal itself. So now let's talk about what is the problem with heart attacks, okay? Well, <clears throat> it's inflammation. It's inflammation because the wall of the artery is damaged from inflammation. And it's kind of like an ulcer. It's a degenerative type situation. And that's why the cholesterol and the calcium comes in to help heal it. And then that's the, the clogging factor. So what causes inflammation? Sugar, okay? Sugar is the big culprit. Sugar is very inflammatory, um, and the amount of sugar that we eat not only will spike cholesterol and, and triglycerides because the body's trying to heal the damaged arteries, but it will clog up your arteries more than anything. And so, and that includes the whole grains that the doctors are telling you it's okay, or the government, whatever. Um, so it comes down to sugar. So the problem is not the fat, it's the sugar, okay? So that's interesting. Um, the other thing that causes inflammation is um, having an adrenal problem as well because your adrenal gland secretes cortisol and cortisol is a natural anti-inflammatory but when you lose that effect you end up with inflammation in the body. But in a thumbnail sketch um, you don't have to be afraid of cholesterol anymore. You can go ahead and consume cholesterol. I've been eating four eggs every single day for the last 20 years, my cholesterol is about 160, uh, 170, 160, which is totally normal. Um, and lastly, I want to tell you something. Um, where, how do you increase the good cholesterol? To increase good cholesterol, you have to consume egg yolks, butter, and cheese. That's right. Egg yolks, butter, and cheese, especially from grass-fed cows, um, will increase the good cholesterol Okay, what increases bad cholesterol? Sugar and junk food. Okay? So, I hope that helped a little bit unbrainwash you um, with this.